Hey guys, welcome to this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. And we're gonna kind of make this short today for two reasons. Number one, my phone doesn't really have enough memory left and I'm not gonna have time to run back out to get my camera because as you can see, number two, it's gonna storm here uh, in a little bit. So I gotta make this quick, but I'm making this video uh, because uh, my father-in-law was actually interested in seeing uh, seeing this car, so I figured I'd make a nice interesting video. So What I have for you today is a 1996 Buick Sentry and uh, Yeah, this this one's actually in a fair in fairly good shape um, The only thing that I've noticed with it is There's a really weird dark spot here on the driver's door and it does need a new windshield because it looks like something something hit that pretty good um but yeah so this uh, is actually i like to think this is an interesting vehicle um there's a spot there too a weird spot on the hood there but it's interesting because it, in 1996 <laughs> um buick <laughs> was still making a vehicle that looks like it's still from the 80s um this car reminds me a lot of uh, like the uh, the Chevy Celebrity Which my my dad had actually owned at one point when I was younger Oh that thunders really roaring so But yeah, I mean as you can see there there really isn't a whole lot of uh, defects on the outside of this car uh, Which also again makes it worth filming So yeah, uh, I have no idea what the color's called. You can see we've got like, you know, the, the tin <laughs> wheel covers uh, slightly dented in. But yeah, it's, it's actually uh, in really, really good shape other than the windshield and just a couple of, just a few rough spots here and there. Uh, now the inside, The inside's actually really, really clean. So, as you can tell, we've got the blue fabric that matches uh, the outside of the car. Of course, the floor mats are, oops, floor mats are gonna be pretty well stained. But we have these. This is nice and soft, nice and plush. Got our fake wood accenting, power windows, door locks, manual mirror. I did try the window when I was driving it over here because it was hot in there. It did seem to work just fine. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot back there. Oh, earbuds. Somebody left their earbuds back here. And they match the color of the seats. Yeah, so let's get in real quick. We'll start it up. I can tell you right now the car feels like it's very like fluent. <laughs> Does have remote keyless entry. And it still has, even though this is 1996 we're talking about, it still has the old school ignition and trunk and door lock key set up. So for all you youngsters out there, <laughs> cars used to have two sets of keys or two keys, not one. And it has traction control. Um, analog brakes. There we go. Very simple gauge cluster. Uh, as you can see, 111,000 miles on the odometer. Runs pretty good. Um, just like a two spoke wheel, I guess, with airbag. Very thin steering wheel. <laughs> Uh, what else we got, you know, just uh, the fake wood design going across the entire dashboard Light switches here 
with our interior dimmers. Uh, let's see, it does have cruise control on the turn signal stock with your wiper controls there. Blinker might need to be replaced. Or something needs to be replaced. So, uh, yeah, column shifter. Old school <laughs> Delco AM FM radio. No uh, cassette player or anything, just your old school radio. So, <laughs> and then uh, your climate controls, your sliding climate controls. light rear defrost uh, look at how that is pushed in <laughs> I don't think there's an airbag here maybe maybe there is I don't know um, I, I can't really tell from this angle oh it's got the manual it's in pieces but the manual is here Wow that's amazing so yeah, we got the manual. There's our, our trunk release here. We might as well push that. It works. We are going to be looking at the trunk. Huh. Well, let's see. Flimsy, you know, mirror or uh, sun visor. Unlit mirrors. Uh, two additional map lamps on the dome light. Overall, though, I mean, it's a pretty clean car. Big trunk. With spare tire. Ooh, heavy trunk. As you can see, it really doesn't sound like the exhaust is loud or anything. I'm going to guess, I have no idea what's what's in under this hood, but uh, for some reason I want to guess it's the 3300. I could be wrong. Uh, no, it's a four cylinder. Uh, let's see, is there a sticker? Uh, I, don't, I don't see anything under here that's going to tell me what the engine size is. Possibly a 2.2. Two. Runs pretty good. Um, let's see, it might have uh, oil leak around the valve cover. Look, I think we've got deck spool. <laughs> I think 96 was when they started putting deck spool in, so that could be a possibility. Little hood lights burnt out. One little shock is holding up this entire hood. This hood is not really that light. So yeah, uh, four cylinder. We got our hood ornament still there. Pretty nifty vehicle. It's, it's amazing how clean it is too for uh, you know the year and the mileage. Sounds pretty good. As you can see, automatic locks. It's 
Seems like it'd be a pretty, uh, pretty nice car to drive. But I'm not gonna take it out. I'm just gonna put it away. I do believe this vehicle's for sale. I don't think it's going to uh, the auction. It might be. I don't know 100%. Ooh, it's gonna be real dark back there. It's probably gonna start storming real bad as soon as I get home. Very hot today. All right. So that's that. <laughs> Told you I was gonna make it short today, guys. But nonetheless, I hope it was enjoyable, especially since we are. Uh... Since we were looking at a car that is uh, rather you know, really old, but still in pretty decent shape. No horn. I don't know if they did the horn function in 96 or not, but <laughs> so there we go. So that was a 96 Buick Sentry. No trim level. From what I can see, there's no badging that signifies that there's any other trim just the sentry. If you enjoyed this vehicle, don't forget, or if you enjoyed this video, I should say, and if you, well, you know, what the heck, if you enjoyed all of this, <laughs> don't forget to uh, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and also check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight, which is my official vehicle touring segment that I post right here on this channel. Again, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Even though I'm not purchasing this Aztec or any other Aztec in the near future, one of the videos that I wanted to make if I did get one was an Aztec appreciation video because there aren't many of those out there at all.